Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Now today we are doing a show vlog. We haven't done one in a while. Me and Trav we're going to Parwood today and we are doing a bit of show jumping in the 70 centimeters. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and hopefully it goes a lot better than my previous video, which if you haven't seen it, take a look. I may or may not have fallen off last time. Um, but yeah, so we're going off there now. Didn't have any yard work to do this morning or anything because where Trav's out overnight, it actually means that he's obviously had a leg stretch all night. He was already mucked out last night once I turned him out. Um, so now that I've brought him in, it's what, like half seven. Now that I've brought him in and he's happy, I'm gonna head home and then come back for when we leave in two or three hours. I'll be honest, I am actually like a bit nervous. <laughs> I actually do always get a little bit nervous even though it's like just, it's like an unaffiliated show, but yeah. But I'm sure it will be absolutely fine. We've done a lot of work and um, if Trav is feeling like his fun, naughty self, then I've got a few things I know that I need to keep in okay, mind. Okay, so it must not just be me who absolutely loves dressing up in all the show gear. Um, I've just got this one at the moment to make sure it doesn't get too dirty. I haven't actually worn this riding yet, so it's very white and very clean. We're going to head off in about 20 minutes and I'll see you there. Right guys, so this isn't actually me warming up Travis. This is the uh, woman who took me who also is my instructor. I've just started riding some of her horses as well at our yard. Um, the reason why she is on is because Trav was an absolute nightmare. I can normally put up with it when he's at a show. As you can see, he's just refused the jump. He really wasn't happy. He was absolutely fine. He just doesn't like all these other big horses running around after him. Um, he like bucked every time a horse like rode next to him. So after a while, you know what? I just said that she actually needed to get on because it was getting to the point where I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna stay on and I definitely don't think I can jump a 12 jump course with him right now. Um, but eventually she, she got him going really, really well actually. So I was so thankful that she was there to help me out. At this point, he finally started to chill out quite a lot. Um, he absolutely loves jumping, but he does get annoyed with the other horses in there. And he also can sometimes take it a little bit too far. Um, so I think it was the combination of the two and he hasn't actually been to this place. I don't think he's actually ever been here before and I definitely haven't taken him. Um, so it was a whole new environment and yeah, I'm just really thankful she was there to give me that sort of support. When it was finally time to go in, um, we actually decided that she would take him in for me. Um, I really wasn't sure how it was gonna go, but she actually cleared the round and he did really, really well. I think there is just one jump that he actually was going to refuse, but with, with her on him, he definitely was still gonna get over it. Um, but all in all, really happy. And then you can wait to see if I do eventually give it a go as well. Yep, so that was the jump there where I definitely thought he was probably gonna refuse it, um, but she got him over anyway.
So now this is me doing the course. So I did get on and do him. This, this round didn't actually count as a round because he'd already obviously gone through the first time with Southerly. So I did take him through, even though it wasn't gonna be sort of set down as a real entry, I just wanted to do it myself. And as you can see, he's absolutely flying through for the second time, he did love it. And he actually cleared this one as well. He did it also in really good time. So um, the person who was riding him beforehand, she actually came third on him. And after checking the times that I got of him on film, it looks like even if I was riding, I would have probably come roughly about fourth or fifth anyway. So I was really happy with how he went and also really, really happy I did get back on because I did feel really bad that I didn't do it at first. And just the fact that I did it and he went so well, I was really, really proud of him and also myself <laughs> after being kind of really disappointed that I did get off initially. so it's actually the next day the the lady that i went with actually had to ride four other horses so we were quite on the go at the competition and then we got back did all the yard work again and cleared out the lorry um so yeah it is the next morning but i just really wanted to go over yesterday because as you would have heard i did a little bit of a voiceover about how Trav was acting and how actually I suddenly became really unconfident because he was just being a nightmare that like I haven't <laughs> I haven't had him like that at a competition but I've only been to a competition like a handful of times like three four times he's been naughty but this was like it's like he was like determined not to do it and he doesn't actually like the warm-up arena at all because he doesn't like all the other horses running around after him he's just like staring it didn't go to plan, but then you would have seen that I then got on in the end and I was really glad I did get on because I didn't actually know if I could. The reason why I didn't do the round and um, the person I went with did it instead was because, well, first of all, she's a much better rider than me. <laughs> I'm, I don't create this channel because I'm an amazing rider. I create it because I love riding and I'm here to show sort of the highs and lows as well and even though you could take that as maybe like a little bit of a low I was really happy that I ended up getting on and I, if I'm honest I rode him completely differently once I got back on to how I was riding before after just watching someone else do it I, I don't really I'm not very hard on him a lot of the time even when you kind of need to be a bit harder, it's quite hard, I think, on your own horse. Um, and also I always think, oh, but he's 22 and blah, blah, blah. Um, but actually he can do it. He did He did the course twice. <laughs> and I was worried he couldn't do it once. And he cleared it both times. Overall, I was actually really happy with how we got on. And now I just know, actually, if I go by myself or when we go next time, that he can do it and he will do it. Um, cause the end of the course I was a bit worried about because obviously the jumps were a little bit bigger come the end. Um, they were built up a lot more, more rocks and spreads. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please do let me know down in the comments below. And at the end of the day, let me know if you've <laughs> done that or, or pulled out because, um, yeah, at first I was a bit concerned. Hey Chuck, that actually I was giving up when I shouldn't have done but I was really happy that I got back on. So, yep, I'll go to another show soon and I will do it this time. Trav actually did come third though, which is um, <laughs> pretty good, isn't it? Fatty, you're always fat in the morning. Okay. Thank you guys for watching and please do make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next week.
Bye.